Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some new Design Center improvements. Since the last time I did the video on Design Center, there have been some major things that have released, including being able to penetrate Wi-Fi between certain floors. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com. And if you want to be a part of the community, I do have a Discord server, which I'll put in the description below. So let's get started. If you've never used Unified Design Center before, you need to go to design.ui.com and sign in. This is the first page that you're going to be shown. So it says build your Unify system in minutes. I'm not going to use any of these presets. I'm just going to create new project, which is in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to give this a name and I'll call it Design Center 2025. And this is going to be an office building that we're going to be creating. The next thing that we need to do is upload our floor plans and we're going to give it a name. So the first one that I'm going to have is actually called floor six. I'm going to browse to the file and then we're going to upload it. With the file now uploaded, I'm going to add floor seven into this. We're going to go to the left hand corner and we're going to click the plus icon. Here I'm going to name it floor seven. And then we're going to browse the files and then find that floor seven floor plan with both floor plans now enabled. We need to set a scale for this building and I do have a marker down at the bottom. So I'm going to click on set scale and then we're going to go from zero all the way over to 20 feet. We're going to put this in feet. If you do it in meters, you could also switch to meters and I'm going to press save. Now, one of the biggest changes in design center since I last did a video is the drawing of the walls. They have added a whole lot more that we could do with this. You'd see on the right hand side, we have a bunch of different new wall types. We have concrete drywall, drywall heavy. We have glass, glass thin. We have brick, metal, wood. We have a door, which is wood. We have door metal or glass. We also have window, single pane, double pane or triple pane. And you could also add or modify. Clicking on add or modify, we could change the colors of what these look like. So for concrete, if I don't want it to be this blue and say I want it to be green, I could click on green and that's what it's going to be. We could also add custom material. So we could click on a new material, we could name it and then set the DB level for it. Now here, I'm just going to draw in one wall so that you guys could see what that's like. And then I'm going to draw them all myself off camera, but we're going to do the outside of the building, which is all concrete. Instead of doing a wall, I'm going to say that it's a room and it's concrete. And I'm going to go from corner to corner. And you could see that new color of green for concrete is staying. So that's really nice that they've added that to be able to do whichever color that you like for which material. I drew in the walls for the sixth floor. I'm just going to leave the seventh floor blank. But one thing that is also cool about Design Center now, we see this in a 2D mode, but we could also see it in 3D if we click on the 3D. And this is going to give us a 3D outline of what our floor plan looks like. And I think that is pretty awesome. So you could place in your cameras and you could also see your different Wi-Fi. On the sixth floor, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to place a couple access points. So we'll place devices and then we'll select Wi-Fi on the right hand side. We could select which access points that we're using and which color. I'll just say the U7 Pro XGS and then we're going to have it in black. I'm going to grab the access point and then I'm going to put a couple just in the hallways. This isn't the actual location as we've never done this floor before, but it will give you an idea of how the Wi-Fi will be going in between the floors. With the access points now placed on the floor plan, we need to go down to the bottom and we need to align the floor plan. So I'll click on that. And you could see here that it says drag to align the floor plans, use corners to resize, and then you press escape to cancel. So right now you can see that the seventh floor right here isn't in alignment with the sixth floor. We need to make it a little bit bigger and match the corners up. The walls in each floor plan are going to be different, but we still want to align the corner to the corner. And this does look pretty good. So on the right hand side, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say move all to building. Now I only have Wi-Fi access points put in on the sixth floor. So we're going to move over to the seventh floor plan and we're going to see how that Wi-Fi goes in between the floors. So I'll click on the drop down menu and then we'll go on floor seven. And you could see how the Wi-Fi is penetrating between the different floors. And you could see an access point with an up arrow and some stairs. That means that this Wi-Fi is coming from a different floor. If you don't want to see it from a different floor, you need to click on our settings and then signal from other floors we could turn off and then that will disappear. The last thing that we're going to talk about in this video is the ability to add site maps into our design. So what we need to do, we'll go up to the top where it says floor seven and we'll click the drop down arrow. We're going to go to manage floor plans. On the right hand side, we could now see that we could add a physical location to this. 
I'm going to click on it and then we're going to kind of zoom out so I don't show my location and we'll pick a different location so that we can see what it looks like. So I just found a different location than my house that I found on Google and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that in. Now from here, we're going to be able to zoom into the location and this was a farm. So if you do have some access points outside and say these are in between different buildings, we're going to be able to see how far that Wi-Fi will go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press apply. Now we could think that this is a barn and maybe this is a pond and this is another barn and we could place different devices. So if we click on Wi-Fi and say we wanted an E7 outside and it's all open air, we're going to be able to see how far that's going to go. So this is a nice addition to Design Center. And that's going to be it for my video on these new Design Center updates. And I'm really glad they allowed us to do Wi-Fi between different floors. I know that was a huge request for most people. The one thing that I would like to see is the ability to have a single data jack. The ones that they have right now, you only could do double data jacks or you could do four or six or eight or 16 or something like that. We still don't have a single. And in a lot of buildings, they do only have single data jacks. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see put into Design Center. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.